Ooh, you can delete rocks. That's interesting. Didn't see that before. Hello, everyone. This is Dragon Loon, and welcome back to Airport CEO and a brand new season. I say brand new season because there is new updates. Uh, specifically, they added in emergencies that you have to handle in the associated emergency response systems. Um, I uh, jumped back in to play on my own yesterday, and I discovered that there were a bunch of changes to it. So I thought it was time to start a new season. So let's go ahead and get on in here. We will start yet another new airport. Name ourselves Dragon Loon, and I am not going with that avatar. That is a wickedly bad looking avatar. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, no. How do you get rid of... Ah! Ooh, that stash. Ooh, that mustache was brutally bad. Alright, uh... We'll... Uh... Let's see... We will go with... Uh, that looks good. Alright, so... Uh, last time I had chosen my hometown of... Anchorage, right up in here in Alaska. Yes, I live in the frozen north. Uh, this time, however, I will go with... Is that the right area? Um... Ah, that is Great Salt Lake. Uh, I believe that's the Great Salt Lake, which means that... <laughs> I am looking for Denver, Colorado. We are going to guess it's right there. Come on. Actually, we're going to go with Colorado Springs. Ah, uh, that is one of my former hometowns. So, we will get on in here. Uh, again, the airport is going to be Dragon International. I think I spelled that right. And again, it is going to be... We are actually going to go... Ah, uh, yeah, D-I-A. Dragon International Airport, not Denver International Airport. That is an actual airport. This is not. All right. So we are going to launch on in here. All right. And here we go. So, of course, we're going to automatically pause the game. And no, we are not going to start with the instructions because we already know everything that it's going to go through. So we're just going to skip that. And we'll jump in here into the tutorial, which is a small airfield. Now, I want to first go through some of the changes that they have given us. Uh, one of which is they have added new aircraft infrastructure. They have added a windsock. Now, it really doesn't have any use other than making your airport look more realistic. Um, they have, however, once we get further in, added in a new repair structure right in here, along with the, uh, aircraft stands, taxiways, and paths. And again, we'll get into that once we open up. I believe it opens up once you've unlocked the regional airport rather than the small airfield. Um, they've also, uh changed some of the uh, guest check-in desks and uh, we'll take a look at that when we get in there uh, and they have changed some of this here where you can now see uh, the number of arriving passengers and departing passengers it pretty much give you a better breakdown this one here I like because it will tell you well as it says how many uh, total employees of each type you have and these lines will also be colored Either green, meaning you have plenty of uh, employees to handle the total number of jobs, or they'll be red, meaning you need more employees. Generally, the janitorial line will keep going back and forth between red and green, simply because there's always more janitorial work to do than janitors. Um, For here and for right now, that is 
pretty much what all that they've made changes. They've also, ooh, yes, that's right. They've also added in vending machines under the uh, terminal uh, tab, which allow you to get drink machines and food machines. And yes, you can get a small profit off of those. Not much, but hey, you know, something's better than nothing. So uh, what we want to do is our typical aircraft stands. We're going to, again, start with the asphalt ones. Um, but I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Actually, no, not for this part. So we are going to come down here and we are going to uh, actually start right there and do as we know we're going to need five of them all right so there's that and then we are going to grab our service roads again we're going to go with the asphalt ones and we're going to come down to the very edge and come over uh, like so to right there and then come up to right yeah all right, then we're going to throw down, oop, wrong tab. We're going to throw down our small asphalt runway, and we are actually going to have them come in from the bottom. So what we need to do is, actually, it's going to be easier this way. Taxiways, and we're going to go five wide and roughly there. And then we're going to put in our runway. And we want to come out by four. And no, we are still going to have them come in this way. And I'll show you why. So we'll put that down. Then here under the runway ramps, we're going to grab this angled one so that they come in and land and can easily turn off rather than slowing down really 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 slow and then here we're going to uh, we'll actually put in this one like uh, that and then we need the rest of the taxiway all right so we have that now one thing that they did add and let me see if i can find it is if we zoom in here Okay, I can't find them. Uh, they'll probably show up here in a little bit, but they added animals such as cows and fox and birds. And you have to give, make, uh, you, you have to take care of protecting your airfield and everything like that from these animals. Otherwise, they'll cause issues. So. We'll probably see those in a little bit, but let's get back to this. We need to add a vehicle checkpoint in here. And we're going to go right there. And oh darn, I did not go up far enough. All right. So like that. And then we need to connect the regular roadway like that. Then we need to add in the fences. Now, with the addition of the animals, what I used to do is just run the fence all the way to the edge of the map and call it good. But now we actually need to put the fence all of the way around the airfield. And for whatever reason, you really can't go closer than two blocks uh, to the very edge of the map. So, unfortunately, that does leave a little bit of a gap, but... It's not too bad. So we will just go around like so. And we'll leave it there. And then we will come up a bit like this in anticipation for our commercial side and we will actually actually we don't need it that far 
we will come here and here and then down just like that ooh you can delete rocks that's interesting didn't see that before all right anyway so now we need to get things going in order to do that we need a contract and this is another place that they have made some slight changes so under the economy tab this really hasn't changed too much however the offered contracts had and over here you can see the changes you can see that they added in the star rating for the airport uh which indicates the highest available contract rating in this case our airport only deems a three-star contract and right here we have negotiation points which as you can see negotiation points are awarded for running a successful airport they are used to increase the chance of winning a renegotiation with a business not sure what that means never had to deal with that I think it has to deal with how often you can uh, cancel a contract and get a new contract with a different business. However, we'll start with this three-star contract because A, it gives you more contractors, and B, the hourly fee is a lot less. So we'll sign that and then go into operations. And we don't want the max because I only do things in groups of 10 on here. Not sure why, just I'm crazy like that. So we'll get all 100 because we need to build up a lot of stuff really quick. And we will put that on three times speed. Okay, and now that things have started being constructed, we can pause it real fast and put in a couple other things such as our, our air traffic control tower. And we start with just a small one and we will put that in right. You know what? I'm gonna make a slight change. <laughs> uh, we are going to change the position of this fence so that it runs like so. Because with that change, with that change, we can then put our air traffic control tower right here. Now, yes, I know usually it's a little closer to the runway, but hey, you know what? As long as it's down, it's down. And then we want a weather station, and we will put the weather station right there. And... We are going to need fuel, so I'm going to put a parking structure right here. And then the small avi aviation gas fuel right there. And that is all we need for this general aviation runway. So let's let this build up. All right. And now that we have our vehicle depot built as well as our checkpoint, we can buy a couple of these fuel trucks. So we'll go ahead and buy three of them. That is, should be more than enough for all of the general aviation um, pads that we're going to have. And then we also need to get a contract with a fuel provider. Now, as you can see, we have a one star, which has really bad fuel prices at, you know, $1.63 per liter for the general aviation fuel. We have a two star, which has 1.53, hold on one second, huh? Oh, six, three, five, three. And then we have a three star, which is 1.31. This is by far the best right now. So we'll go ahead and get them that way. Once we start getting uh, aircraft, we already have our fuel ready and waiting. And there they come. Ah, there's the animals. 
See, they've got cows and foxes. And once we get this fence completely built, those will disappear. Uh, I was reading uh, the um, information on the most recent update, and it was saying that once you have um, a little bit more airport infrastructure, such as your emergency services built, you can actually, <clears throat> those guys, excuse me, uh, your uh, airport police will actually help uh, remove the animals by doing patrols. So we'll have to take a look and, and, and try and do something with that once we get there. However, let's go ahead and uh, get this finished and I'll bring you right back in two shakes of a cow's tail. All right. Sorry about that really, really bad dad joke. <clears throat> but we have everything completed for the most part. We have our Mm, well, the first five aircraft stands, and we have our full taxiway. Eh, now it's complete. So, uh, our construction workers will continue to work on our fence around our airport so that we can stop getting those uh, uh, milk machines, uh, aka cows. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up to general aviation. Then we need to go into our operations tab, open our airport, and accept general aviation and oh we can unlock or open the fuel services as well so now we just need to wait for our first oh wait no there it is our first aircraft coming in and now we are earning some money now this is where i would ordinarily start working on our airport over here but our construction workers are super, super busy with the fence. So we won't do that. We'll just sit here and wait until we have all of that done. Now, the other thing we can do is work on putting in some more aircraft stands so that we can get some more aircraft so that we can not be losing money because losing money is bad so let me work on that all right so there we go we now have our basic airport and as you can see here we're already on the regional airport tutorials so again we will let all of this build up i now have we now have 10 aircraft uh, what, what? Yeah, aircraft stands, sorry, uh, for general aviation purposes. And so we'll just let our con uh, construction workers build those up. And then we will work on building our um, regional airport, which I'm going to build over here. Again, I have this giant area here separated because we're going to put in some... Um, uh, public parking spots for like our staff and long-term parking and short-term parking and this service road is actually going to go up eh, probably about here because I want to leave room for things like trash removal and uh, catering which has to be able to go from the um, fr uh, from the regular roads through the fence into the building and then onto service roads and they're pretty big so i uh, wanted to leave room for that but let me get this done we'll be right back all right and it looks like all our construction workers are completely done because as you can see right here they're all milling around um in this uh drop off area i think that's what it's called all right so Let's pause the game. We do have all our uh, general aviation aircraft parking stands completed. We might might have to add in another general aviation um, fuel truck, but not sure. We definitely will pro. Uh, we well, we de won't definitely, but we'll probably add in a few more general aviation uh, aircraft aircraft stands 
just to be able to get that extra little oomph of uh, income from our uh, runway and parking fees. But for now, what we need to do is we need to get our commercial uh, air airport up and going. And we're going to start with our parking lots. So what I want is I want the road to come in right about here and go this way to our main terminal. But I also want it to turn off for parking lots. Oh my. I don't think I could have planned that any better if I had tried. Well, yeah, I probably could. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right. Uh, so then we need to take the asphalt roads and we're going to have a one way going this way. Well, I mean, it's going to be going the other way, but it's going to come up this way. We're going to have one way coming up this way and then one way going this way and we will actually have the road running straight down like that. Now let's go ahead and add in the one ways. Now I did discover that you need one way markers in a lot of different places. Um, <laughs> don't know why you need this many one way markers. Um, I, I guess, uh, they want the simulation to be just like real life where you have people who can't pay attention to the flow of traffic. So anyway, all right, that is that. Now what we need to do is we need to remove some, if not all of this fence. So we are just going to remove all of that. And there we go. All right, so now let's grab the terminal. And if we look at the tutorial, it says um, at least 20 by 15. So we're going to grab the foundations and we're going to need sidewalks here. So we are going to uh, leave one space for the sidewalks, but we can't do that yet because I almost forgot the most important thing. All right, so we need to spend a lot of money and buy one of these plots because we need more room. All right, so then what we've got to do while we're waiting for them to delete that fence is put in our aircraft stands and we are going to put in four. Yep, we're gonna put in four. Now, all right, so we've got the fence deleted now we need to put in the taxiway. However, we need to plan for our medium stands as well. And those medium stands, if I remember right, are three of these larger grids uh, wide or wider than the small stands. So we're going to come out by three like that. And now we can start our regular taxiway, which is five wide. And we're gonna go up a ways like so, but we're also going to come down right to the edge. All right. Now we can put in our uh, we can put in our runway and have that four tiles away from the taxiway. But you know what? We are going to have them fly in that way. And then we're going to put that down like that. And that down like that. And then finish off the taxiways. Just like that. All right, 
Let me let them finish this up. Oh, it looks like they've finished all of our parking lots. So we'll take this very far one and turn that into staff. Uh, and then we'll take this one here and turn it into long term. And we'll leave these other two for short term. All right. And now our tutorial is telling us that we need to add entrances and exits. So we're going to add an entrance right there. We'll put a couple uh, like so. Now the other thing I wanna do is I wanna take our templates that we made the last time and grab our bathroom template. Cause I tend to forget to add these in and we'll put it right there. And then we need to add in the interior wall too. Something like that. And then we'll go up a ways to about right here. And we'll make this our impromptu baggage claim area. And then this will be our office area. So with that being our impromptu baggage claim area, we need to put in some exit doors like so. And then we need to add in the walkways. All right, and can't forget our crosswalks to allow our passengers to safely go from the parking lots to the terminal. Just like so. All right, and now we need to wait because all of this needs to be built up. And we're losing money. Lots and lots of money. All right, folks. And just like that, we pretty much have a uh, airport. Except for the guest check-in and seating and all of that. But we can't get that until we get commercial flights. So uh, now we need to build a flight or a uh, office area for our staff or staff room as it's called. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, build a brand new one. I, I have a template before they uh, made some changes to how things uh, are supposed to be done, but we're not going to use that. So uh, let's go ahead and get on in here and we are going to make... Uh, let's see how we are going to make a lounge for our construction crew. Now comes the expensive part. We need to hire some staff. So we will go and hire a CFO and a COO. And then a bunch of administrators. Like so. So that we can go in here to our research projects and research our commercial license. And get that going. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for that, we can go through. We'll hire a bunch more administrators because why not? And then we need some. Did I just. <gasps> I just fired all my exec, uh, my administrators. That is not funny. Okay, so it's mildly entertaining, but still no. All right, <laughs> back to what I was doing. Some janitors. All right, 
There we go. Now, what it wants us to do is get some check-in desks. And this is where the new things have come in. So as always, we have security. I mean, that's not new. Crap, we're out of money. Okay, uh, so while we're waiting for some money, um, they uh, they changed the type of check and desks. It used to be just one one size of check and desk. Now they give us these small check and desks. Uh, I don't believe that the ch uh, small check and desks allow for baggage, but I could be wrong. Um, but they also have these small boarding desks, and when you get medium aircraft, they have medium boarding desks. So, we will put down... Yeah, we're out of money. We're out of money. Well, that would be why we were out of money. Because for whatever reason, our runway wasn't being repaired. Oh, I wonder if we need to turn... Yeah, we need to turn on the maintenance, which means we need to research it. So that's going to be the next thing that we are going to work on, but I need to find it. All right. Well, I didn't want to do this, but because I didn't realize that our runway for our general aviation had broken down to where they couldn't use it, we ran out of money. So I need to take out a loan. And we're only going to do a really small one like that. And that is just simply so that we can go in here and finish setting up our airport. And we're going to do that by putting down a couple of boarding de or ticketing desks. Uh, like that. And then we need to do some boarding desks, and I'm going to butt those up right up against the doors, like so. And we'll do a flight info, uh, info display, like that. And we'll finish the walls here, like so. Oh. And I wanted to add in one more checkpoint right there for our staff. We also want an information desk right there. And our passengers are going to need something to sit on while they're waiting for their airplane. All right. And since how we have the ability. Oh, yes. Walkalators. That came out in a patch a while back. Those are kind of nice. Unfortunately, they're specific sizes. You can't adjust them at all. But, you know, they might come in handy. So we'll put down a couple of vending machines here. Like that. And we need a couple of drink machines. Like that. All right. And then we need to build our queues. All right. And we are almost ready to start commercial flights. We just need to change this to commercial and open the runway. And then we need to assign the boarding desks to the respective landing pads. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and build these queues here, uh, about right there. Oh, the one other thing I want to do before we actually get to that, which we're going to put on ramp agents, um, I want to get our jet fuel and then our medium depots. So we'll get the jet fuel first, just like that. All right, our jet fuel is done. Now let's get our medium fuel depots. 
And while we're waiting, we'll hire a few more administrators, go back into our R&D, and the upkeep costs will put in five there. Just so that we can reduce the total amount that we spend on upkeep so that the operations cost goes down and we earn more money quicker. We should probably get a few more passenger service agents just because you can never have enough of those. In fact, how many do we have? We have 12. Eh. Seems enough for now. All right, so we got the medium fuel depot. Now we need the fuel tanks for expansions, but we can go ahead and start getting all of this information, all of this stuff down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these fuel depots. Ah, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Aircraft hangers. A aircraft hangar is where aircraft park for repairs and storage. This is probably going to bring us in some money. Because if we go into the economy tab and we look at our fees. Wait, what? Why don't I have... Oh yeah, I forgot to hire those executives. So, we already have no executives. Why do we have no executives? Probably because I fired them on accident. Alright, so we need to get a CFO, a CIO, a COO, a HR... Procurement and strategy. All right. Wow. All right. So, under fees, you can see where is it? Hangar aircraft repair fee per minute $18 per minute. That is really awesome. All right. Uh, so, back to this. So, we are going to take our medium fuel depot of the A1 type and the uh, fuel tanks, excess fuel tanks, are three tiles wide. So, we'll go right there and put that there. And then our... Oh, 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 before we do that. Oh, good. We can do that. Just like that. I think that positioning will be good. Right. We'll put it right there. All right. Now we can take our service roads and go up to there. And like that. And we are out of funds again. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. We need to get another loan. All right. We'll do this one. And hopefully that will be the last loan we need for quite some time. All right. What? I told you to build. All right. There we go. And it looks like our fuel tanks are done. So we will put in a f few of them. Just like that. And then we need to purchase some of these. And we'll go five of those. And then the A1 fuel trucks will stay over here, and those will provide for our commercial flights. All right, now all we need to do is we need to go into our flight planner and turn on the auto planner, because, yeah, who wants to deal with that all the time? And then we go into our economy panel, 
offered contracts and go to airlines and get all of the airlines that are at least two stars and above. And then go to our flight planner and look at that. We already have our first airlines. What I'm going to do though down is go to minimum flight separation down to 15 minutes. And once we start getting more airlines and more flights in, that will hopefully start dropping down. But now we have our first air airlines coming in. And it couldn't be any sooner because we are almost out of money. All right. And look at that, our first passengers. Sweet. Now, while I'm thinking about it, we need to hire some more administrators so that we can do research faster. And speaking of research, what we want to do, reduce the fuel cost for one, or uh, salary cost for one, excuse me. Now we want to Hmm. We want the extended commercial license. That's for sure. So we'll get that going. And then once that's done, we'll look at some more. However, comma, we've gotten a lot done. And I'm liking our little airport. So, as a recap, we have our general aviation. And we have our commercial flights. And they are just now starting to come in. And we've also already made room for catering over here. We'll probably also put in some flight services or uh, emergency services over here. And I think next time we'll add in some hangers off this taxiway here. Uh, starting with our um, small commercial flights. And we'll put some over here for our general aviation so that we can start earning some money there. We've also made a little bit of, or uh, left a little bit of room here for some medium aircraft stands so that we can start getting some larger flights once we have a bigger runway. However, for now, this is our airport, and I think we made some pretty decent progress. If you liked what you saw, make sure to leave me that like, it does help with the YouTube algorithm, and it is always much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of this really, really awesome content as I try to put it out as I see new and improved things such as this new recent update with Airport CEO. Until next time, however, stay frosty out there.